Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Aniruddha, Victor Uniform 3, Foxtrot, Mike Lima. In this video, we are going to design, build and tune a short 20 meter dipole antenna. For designing purpose, I'm using MMANA-GAL basic software. I've opened up the software. Here we'll write the name of the antenna, short 20 meter. You can put any name here. The center frequency that I want is 14.150. So I'm going to leave this frequency as it is. Let's go to the wire edit section here. Choose the exact plane and draw the antenna. I'm going to just draw the dipole. Now the dipole needs to be in two parts so I'm going to right click on it and divide wire into two pieces. Now we need to assign length to each element. So we go to wire definition. So let's shorten this antenna by 40%. So let's make it 6 meters, 3 meters on each side. Each element length would be 3 meters. So I'm just going to put 3 meters over here because I had selected one of the elements and press OK. So this is done. Now I select the other element, right click and wire definition and make that three meters as well. So this becomes our dipole. We press OK and if we go to view, we can see the dipole. Now we require a feed point. So uh, we can go to geometry and wire number two beginning enter and then we go and check here we can see the feed point the circle represents the source so this is the feed point now if you go and calculate at 14 decimal 15 let's select the material as aluminium pipe because that's what we are going to use and press start. So here you can see that the SWR is 431, which is very high. This is true because we have physically shortened the length of the elements. We need to physically shorten the antenna, but the electrical length has to be the same as the regular dipole. So in this case, for each element, we have shortened by two meters. Now we need to add the impedance of those two meters in the form of an inductor or loading coil to keep the electrical length same. So to do that, we can go to geometry and then we can add wire one center and wire two center. So click use loads. So if you go to the view here, you can see that we have centrally loaded both the elements with the loading coil. Cross represents a load. Now we need to assign a value to this load. We go to the geometry and then here you can enter the value of the load. Now we don't know uh, how much to load. So let's let's try with five micro henry on both ends and calculate if i press start here you can see that the swr has gone down the resistance has increased to 31 so we aim to have this close to 50 right and the swr close to one as much as possible now let's go and increase it to six and check what happens. The SWR has gone down. So we are in correct direction. So let me go back again and enter seven and calculate. It has come down to 3.59. Let's increase it more. Now, if you go and press start, the SWR has gone higher. 
so which means that we need to decrease this by a little bit so let's put 7.5 micro henry and do the calculation one more time now you see the swr has gone down to 1.53 now it has come into an acceptable range but let's go and check in plots where is the antenna resonant so if i press resonance here it is resonant at 14.079 so it is resonant at a lower frequency than what we want which means that the antenna element lens need to be shortened a little bit and here's what we are going to do in real life we are going to have telescopic elements at the end so that we can tune the antenna correctly now we need to decrease the length of the antenna element to get this point to 14.15 but by how much we don't know that so this software offers a tool which can automate that for you so remember 14.079 it's resonant at 14.079 we enter that value here 14.079 okay and then go to the scaling tool here and enter the new value as 14.15 so it gives you a multiplication factor which will be applied to the elements automatically so here you see the antenna element lengths have decreased from 3 meters to 2.98 meters and now we change this back again to 14.15 and go to the calculate and press start now the swr has further reduced to 1.3 let's check the plots one more time and it is close to what we are looking for 14.124 we can further reduce uh, the antenna element length by a little bit and we are sure that this resonant point will shift to 14.15 so what we have achieved here is that we got the approximate length of the antenna elements that uh, we should uh, we should build uh, we also got the value of the loading coil that we need to build and at the height of let's say 5.5 meters uh, we are getting swr of 1.3 so we have got a good starting point and then uh, in real life uh, we can adjust the antenna element lens with the help of those te telescopic elements at the end and tune the antenna to perfection now of course there will be a difference in the real life values and the value shown in the software but they will be very close to each other now the question is how will we design a coil for 7.5 micro henry for that there is a tool here if you go here and select coil so we want a computation of number of turns and we enter a value of 7.5 micro henry over here now we are going to use a 2.5 square mm wire to make uh, the loading coil and we are going to use a 3 4 inch uh, pvc pipe uh, as a former so the diameter of the coil will come out uh, to be 3.1 centimeter you can measure it um, the diameter of the wire is 3 mm for 2.5 square uh, mm wire and the the, uh, the distance between the turns um, is 1 mm right so here you can see that it is telling us that for the former of 3 4 inch pvc pipe and 2.5 square mm of wire if you wound uh, 35 turns on it uh, you will get 7.5 micro henry uh, worth of inductor and it's also giving you information that the length of the coil will be around 14 centimeters so this is how you design a 
loading coil. So uh, with these things in mind, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see the building part of the antenna. The two main sections, the red one seen here and the blue one seen here are aluminum pipes which are one inch uh, in diameter. So let me just write it here one inch dia aluminum pipe and so same goes for this pipe as well right okay uh, then this pipe gets attached to the loading coil now the loading coil is made up of a former of a pvc pipe which is three fourth inch uh, in diameter uh, the 35 turns of 2.5 square mm wire will be used the length of the coil will be close to 13 to 15 centimeters but the length of the pvc former i've used is 20 centimeters because i didn't know how this inductive coil will behave uh, i kept a little bit of margin if i wanted to add more turns so the total length of that uh, pvc former i've kept it as 20 centimeters now uh, going ahead this element which you see and this element which you see are again aluminium pipes but they are 3 4 inch in diameter which I have mentioned here. So same goes for uh, this as well. So I am talking about this pipe and this pipe. The length of those pipes is 48 centimeters. Then a telescopic element gets attached to these aluminum pipes, 3 4 inch aluminum pipes and these are the telescopic elements on both sides. Now if the telescopic elements are completely opened then they are 123 centimeters but they are variable so you can adjust them the way you like. When I built the antenna, I found out that I require about uh, 75 centimeters on one end and 110 centimeters on the other end. But don't concentrate on these values because you may get different values. The point is that with the help of the available 123 centimeters of telescopic element, you can adjust uh, and get the resonant point or a good SWR. Uh, here is a choke. This is nothing but common mode current choke. I've made a video of how to make it. Uh, one of uh, the cables get attached to one of the elements and the other gets attached to the other element. Now uh, you can attach these points to the screws which you will use to fasten this PVC T to the aluminium sections. And then this is your uh, coaxial cable, whichever you choose. So if I add up all these values on the left hand side, I get an element of 2.9 meters and on the right hand side, I get 3.2 meters. This is after I built the antenna and I tuned the antenna. So these are the values after tuning so uh, you can have different values but the basic thing is that you have a 150 centimeter one inch dia sections of uh, aluminium tube uh, then the loading coil which is 20 centimeter in length on a pvc former which is 3 4 inch and then there is a 48 centimeter aluminium pipe which is 3 4 inch diameter and then the telescopic elements uh, get attached to it. So this is the basic construction of the antenna. Mm, I have used a tripod here as well, uh, which I will show you in a minute. Um, and this is how uh, the antenna is uh, designed. I will show uh, you the pictures of the coil that I have made and some other uh, pictures of uh, the antennas as well. Here is a picture of uh, the coil two of them 
uh, the PVC pipe is a 3 fourth inch uh, PVC pipe and these are the 35 turns of 2.5 uh, square mm uh, wire so you need two of them and they will be attached to the center of uh, the elements here uh, you can see the feed point this is the SO239 connector where I have attached the coaxial cable this is the common mode current choke and uh, it gets attached to these two screws uh, one of the cable will go and attach to the uh, this part of the screw and the other will go and get attached to this screw here so this is uh, the feed point uh, this is uh, the entire antenna here you can see I, you can please ignore the VHF antenna that I have here uh, but this is how the antenna looks up in the air if we look closely then here you can see this is uh, the PVCT where the uh, feed point is formed this is the 150 centimeter of 1 inch dia aluminium pipe it gets attached to the loading coil using an adapter and then uh, there is this uh, 48 centimeters of 3 fourth inch diameter aluminium pipe and then the telescopic element gets further attached to it so this is uh, the general construction I will add a video clip uh, showing all these uh, details up close this is a completely assembled antenna uh, it is attached uh, to a tripod uh, using a 10 feet pvc pipe so the height of the feed point from the ground will be approximately three meters let's have a closer look that's the feed point SO239 I've attached a coaxial cable to it this is uh, the common mode current choke and these are the two points where the coaxial is connected going here uh, this is a solid aluminium bar and uh, the length of uh, this bar from this point till this point is 150 centimeters going ahead uh, this is a loading coil uh, it is made up of a 2.5 square mm wire wound around a 3 fourth inch PVC pipe the total number of turns is approximately 35 going ahead there is another solid aluminium bar which is 48 centimeters and then there is this telescopic element now this telescopic element can be adjusted uh, for tuning purpose same on this side so that's the construction um, everything is uh, screwed and uh, I've collect connected bullet connectors over here so that it can be easily disassembled So I will put up the antenna and then we'll check the SWR. I've put up uh, the antenna and right now it is at 3 meters from the ground. Here you can see that uh, I've adjusted the telescopic elements such that the SWR at 14.150 is 1.1. Any station on this frequency? This is Victory Form 3, Foxtrot, Mike Lima. Uh, good evening to you. This is Victory Form 3, uh, Foxtrot, Mike Lima. Uh, your signal report is a 5657. Form 2, a Golf Tango X ray. This is Victory Form 3, Foxtrot, Mike Lima. What?